I wanna begin this lesson by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahashai Bahashem Kakadash the Bohana to the elder and the apostle of the Christian who do well with the blessing and salutation to the Aki and the truth to the whole winds of the heaven. So, my lesson will be centered around the last some Israelite, the last some Israelite who are saying, <laughs> It is a stupid thing, thing even to think about it. They are saying, they are just asking questions, it's like a conversation. Eh? What will you do when you meet Hamashiach face to face? Because he is coming. Okay. It sounds like a noble question. It sounds like a noble question. Eh? But the Bible tells you things which will happen when Yahawashai is on yes. Or when we miss, we meet to see how shall yeah. we will be clowned, man. There is nothing other than that. We will be clowned, and everybody yeah, given something to do yeah, yeah, to judge these nations, man. There is nothing other than that to judge this nation and to rule, to rule them with a lot of fire, of fire man. Yeah, to beat them like a pot. In your vessels, man. Yeah. So, uh, let me go here and show you something. Man. I want to show you something. <laughs> you see, this, this, he is a woman, Serena Manson. Uh, uh, he is trying to teach. Uh, he is a woman teaching. First of all, that is a long thing to do. Yeah. The question is, the Messiah is going to meet us face to face. What are you going to do? Yeah. What will you do? You will do the will of Yahashai, because he is the king of kings. Yahashai is not going to listen to your opinion. First of all, for you thinking that Yahashai will listen to you, that's a long thing to start with. You don't know about the Bible, man. Yahawashai will, will not be there to listen to your opinion. Yahawashai will, will be there to command his army, man, and to get on his side and uh, this whole other nation, man, after being clowned. So this is a stupid question to, 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 to ask. You. <laughs> Let's go. This is Noah, David, this is right. So, so this is uh, uh, on Facebook. I told you Facebook is not a place for education. It's a place for posting memes, getting women's, a devalidation, man, and going simping after other these women. Let's see, apologize and then ask him what was it all about. So this nigga doesn't know what is it all about. So to put it simply, he doesn't read the Bible because the Bible tells you what is it all about and what will happen when Hamashiach comes. The person who posted the, 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 that, that, that post is Serena Manson. Says, I am with you, with you there 100%. <laughs> so another one is this Josiah Runahi said, Apologize now, don't wait until he comes. Because if you don't apologize now, eh, you will get that soup. Eh? <laughs> Nuclear me, so you won't even have a chance to see a Mashiach, man, until you come back in the kingdom in everlasting shame and the contempt, man. So, before a Mashiach come, what are you supposed to do? This is a miracle scripture, man. <laughs> this is a miracle scripture. This two said you won't even understand the miracle scripture. <laughs> so, Matthew 3. And they see, in those days come John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and they saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm. So, the prophet the apostle and the elder are telling you now to repent before even Jacob will trouble come. When Jacob will trouble come, the door for repentance will be shut down. <laughs> How are you going to repent? There will be a famine in your food. How are you going to repent in your famine in your food? Even in this simple scripture, we, we won't hear them. Man. You want to see the, the, the apostle and the elders. You want to see the blazon down. Yeah. 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 
they will be they will be doing their own things because it is their own trap getting women and they doing spiritual power the strange spiritual power to his son <laughs> that's what they will be doing man let's go to ruka and see what are you supposed to do before hamashaka come because when hamashaka is on the scene that will be another story he going to crown the elect there is no room for repentance you want to see him man let's go to look 3 and 8 bring forth the zeal of fruit was for repentance you want it is not Uh, the thing is not only to repent you should bring fruit was for repent you want to repent and, and that is it what is the fruit of repentance eh? you should fast you should teach this truth eh, according to your lord eh? you should go to the highway and byway stop eating them pox and they all are born in a food eh? and, and Listen to the elder and the apostle they will tell you after repenting what are you supposed to do and they begin not to say within yourself we have Abraham to our fathers for I say unto you that God is able to, on this stone to raise up our children and to Abraham so he was talking to himself man I, I am greater than Abraham how I say he was basically just saying that so let's go to to second peter again Three and nine. I know, brothers, you know this verse. to start at verse 7 but the heaven and the earth which are now but is the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of one god remain so if you are god you haven't repented and you are waiting when hamashaka come so that you can repent you are reserving you are reserved for that and quench the fire no? that everlasting fire i am to- not talking about hell here but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that the one day is with the lord as a thousand year and a thousand year as one day uh, the lord is not slacking concerning his promise as many count slackness one of his promises the lord promise is to judge you with me. so don't wait until the hamashiach come when they repent repent now but in long suffering to us toward us not willing that any should perish but is that all should come to repentance but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night that was my point the day of the lord will come if you can repent when hamashak is here why should he come like a thief so he want to surprise you weak nigger so he can judge you with his judgment in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise when is the heaven pass with a great noise where will you be Will you able to escape with your own understanding that judgment because you haven't repented if you are waiting until hamashaka come and then you repent you haven't repented and you are not willing to repent i don't know what you are, you are waiting and the element shall meet with the fervent heat that a nuclear miss and the ss and the oak that as a line shall be burned up what is the oak you you are safe you are the oak of yahawa why yahawa shai Yahawa Yahweh Shai created you so you are the work among the work in this world including building and yourself you will be bound hmm? seeing then that all of these things shall be dissolved what man of person out to you what man of person are you are you waiting until Hamashiach comes then you repent what man of people are you repent now before you get judged hmm? to be in your holy conversation the goodness so you watch out what you are saying man. 
That conversation I saw you well as that is a wicked conversation. Both his teacher, that woman teacher, and that dude who, who commented, that is a good conversation. It sounded like a noble question, what will you do when Hamashaka come? But as the conversation proceed, that is a good conversation. How can you repent when Hamashaka is here? Repent for what? The old world has passed, the hot are repenting. We will be on the kingdom, what? We will be perfect. The law, statute, and commandment will be on your mind. What are you going to repent? So this person don't, doesn't even know milk scripture in the Bible. This person is perceived and a foolish man. Looking for and hasting on to the coming of the day of God, well as the heaven being as a fire shall be dissolved, and the element shall be made with fervent his. Yeah. So, let us go and finish with those foolish virgin, because these are our foolish virgin, man. These are foolish virgin right here. <laughs> then shall the kingdom of heaven be like on the ten virgin which took the lamp and went forth to meet the bride. And the five of them were wise, and the five of them were foolish. The five will represent completion of number. Man. They that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them. So this, this, this nigger and his side chick have no oil on them. Man. They don't know the Bible. Oil represents this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. 100% truth. While the bridegroom tired, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgin arose and trimmed their lamp, and then foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamp are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, let Zela not be not be not enough for us, and you by go ye laser to them that sell and buy yourself. So <coughs> if you can repent why you should be having oil, man, before the bridegroom come? Because if you don't have that oil, you will be judged even before being on the presence of, of Hamashiach to seek for repentance, man. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and that were led went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Who were led who? Who repented, and the brought fruit was for repentance, man. Doing what Yahweh shall commanded them to do. Not only to repent and you are sitting on your couch waiting for Yahweh Shai to come as if you were the boss and Yahweh Shai is your servant. The kingdom of heaven is not like that. Afterward came also the, the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, you opened to us. But the Lord answered and said, Very well, I say unto you, I know you not. So the Lord will say, I know you not before even you get that chance to seek for repentance. Man. You will be banned in them nuclear missiles. No? But watch Zela for, for he knows neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. What is to watch, man? Teaching this truth, yeah. watching for the news, man. Because when you are teaching this truth, you will be up to date, man. You are a watcher. Yeah. Not like somebody you are in Facebook, you, what are you watching Facebook? Watching women's butt and, cal and calves and the titties, and the commenting, posting picture, a woman asking you, post your picture so as I, I can follow you on inbox, and they post. You stupid, man. All of you niggas will, will be killed, man. And we will be happy to see you burning when we are in the firmament, Lord willing. So I want to do a quick lesson on that, man. That inspired me to do a lesson. I hope it was a defying. Yeah. Until next time, shalom.